hey guys very good evening to all of you I hope all of you are fantastic doing extremely well and uh, we are today going to discuss about the ActiveX controls right without VBA okay uh, what are the ActiveX controls and how you can use them right and uh, welcome to the video number 451 my name is Ajay Parmar and you're watching youtube.com slash C slash Ajay Kumar Ajay Kumar Parma, right? And if you're watching the channel for the first time, this channel actually has got four subjects covered Excel, Excel VBA, MS Access, and Access VBA. You can go and watch all these videos, right? One by one. And this is the playlist which you're supposed to follow. This is the playlist I'm sharing in my all the videos, right? Pause it and see how you actually can start this, right? This is the sequence you should follow because many of you they, they always have this issue that there are so many videos and they don't know that how to start this which video is supposed to be you know seen first so when you go to these playlists start watching them in the sequence as as it is mentioned as it is created by me okay and today so so this is by the way the playlist page when you when you click on the channel on the front page of this you get to see this playlist so here you can find all these different different categories 45 playlists we have created so far and every playlist is you know we are trying to cover all the topics actually in access access vba excel and excel vba you can see that these are all the topics right so have a fantastic have a very very happy learning right today what we're going to do is as i said we're going to talk about the activex control so uh satavi singh one week back he he got this uh, question hi Ajay what is the difference between formex controls and the activex controls right so basically i'm here to talk about the activex control in the coming videos we will be talking about the form controls we will be talking about the differences as well right so let us only today talk about the activex controls and from the dashboard perspectives guys they are fantastic and you don't have to be a programmer for that if you know the indirect function if you know the offset function you can make pretty awesome dashboards using these activex controls right now activex controls they are basically the objects they are you know you have the um, if you go to the developer tab and you if you click here in this uh, you know the insert you get to see here form controls and activex controls so we have form controls we have the activex controls they look a little different and their functioning is also different but most of the time the concept remains the same they are very very useful very handy actually in making the dashboards right so first of all for example let me talk about uh, this one one of my favorites combo box now in order to create that you need to click that okay so I click here you see that the moment I click here you get to see this plus sign right so you just drag this and release the button and this is how you get to see here this combo box right right now if I try to click here nothing is going to happen it's going to select that and the reason is very simple because your design mode is highlighted just click back here and it's going to be off once it is off now you can click here now it is empty but you can write here anything I mean you can actually use this you know from the Excel cells we can form the um, you know uh, the uh, uh, if you guys know the data validation you know in the data validation uh, in the drop downs we create so many things so that's what you can create here for example uh, so first of all what you need to do in order to create that you click here in the design mode you know that now the design mode is highlighted okay so what we will do is we right click here and we go to the form control when you go to the form control so what happens generally uh, in in the now this is the activex control so you won't find any option here there is a actually option if you if you create the form control right which i'm not going to talk about here which which actually comes here this is the you know form control combo box and this is the activex control combo box you can see so basically what happens if you're using the activex control you don't have to press right click right that's my mistake and it happens sometimes with me because you know they are they look so similar so for the activex control you need to click on the properties now when you click on the properties what you can do is if you see this linked cell and list fill range right here you can write the range so i if i write here let's say the range is a1 to a10 you know what does that mean that means that if i now write anything in the a1 to a10 that is going to reflect in this combo box and then you can link the cell any cell you can link it for example i say that whatever value i'm going to select in my combo box that is going to reflect in the b1 so that's how you write now when you close it 
and now when you're going to write for example I write here Jan and then February okay so I just go and drag this for example this is the one I did that now when you click here to click here you remember I told you the option guys you need to uncheck that de-highlight that right once this is de-highlighted you can see that it is not selected it is not in the you know that basically when you click here it looks like it is pressed right the color of this the shade actually changes from the other these you know the options right so I click back and now let's go and see that now this is how you can create the ActiveX control guys now anytime the user chooses here March the same value is going to reflect here and you know that how why it is coming because if you go back to this I click on the design mode again and I just go and go to the properties you get to see in the uh, this uh, this window sorry I forgot to select that you first make sure it should be selected and now if I go here in this alphabetic I get to see here B1 this is remember the cell is linked with the B1 right if I link it with the let's say C2 then what's gonna happen I just close this when I close this I click back here and now when I click here you see that if I select this it comes here in the C2 right let me remove the previous value now you see that if I select anything over here that's going to show up here in the C1 now from here you can further go ahead and do a lot of things I'm not here to talk about how it is going to help you in the dashboard in the coming videos we will be talking about that but this is one of the ActiveX control which you know we are discussing here and that is called the combo box right I will add that in the PPT as well in this uh, you know slide as well that we are here talking about the combo box right so this is how you can create it and obviously if so two things which you which you have to uh, let let me recap those two very important things because I know you will struggle if you never actually heard about them or maybe you heard about them but you never used it when you draw any combo box you when you need to go to the insert and just click here so when you click on that combo box or any control this plus sign comes you can see that this is my not the original shape of my cursor right it gives me this thin plus sign now I just drag it you know the way you drag it I use the my keypad and I'm just going to you know drag it like this okay and when you drag it like this this is how it looks like that's it now when you select that you are able to select that right so that means this is in the edit mode you can go to the property and you can you know do a lot of other stuffs but if you want to come back and you want to see how it is now programmed or how you know the values are coming you just need to click back here so that this should not be highlighted and now you can click here when you want to edit it again go and click here right for example now I have clicked on the design mode I click here you see that it get selected now if I go to the properties because I want to do maybe something else let's say I want to change the font so you go to the font and you click here and when you click here you will have the font with all the different different you know the fonts so I just let's say I select this one and I give it a size called 14 so I can do that right so I click OK when you click OK oops this is a VBA window don't worry about it let me just close that yeah you can see that guys it's showing here now if I have to you know increase the width of this height of this I can do that in this way further to this you can also change the color of this four color four color means the value which you are showing up that can also be the color of that value can also be changed from here so this is how it is and look at this the back style you can make it transparent you, you know that's how it's gonna look like then the back color so maybe you can choose this you know the black color well there are lot of things right so when you select the transparent basically you won't be able to see the black black color so let me make that opaque once again and look at this now this is how it looks like so you can make it fancy guys it's all up to you the moment I now click back on the design mode you see that it is deactivated and now if I click I get to see a different way a different style of my these you know the combo boxes the choice is yours how do you want to create it but this is how generally we do the things we program the things now finally when you have linked this combo box with this cell called C2 then you can use the offset function you can use the index function VLOOKUP functions you know and you can basically generate the summary reports basis these values 
that's all about you know creating the dashboards we will be talking about that very soon right but just wanted to give you the you know understanding on this combo box to begin with so thank you so much my dear subscriber for your question i hope this is going to immensely you know benefit all of my lovely people out there who are watching the my channel for the first time and also who are following the channel from years so as usual we will be coming back and we will be talking more about the excel excel vba access and access vpa thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic learning